Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and you're watching Cho Kwan Lee's Makes, a channel where I talk about my knitting, sewing, quilting, and general making journey. Today we are going to do a little recap of the James River Yarn Crawl. Um, I went with my best friend this past weekend and we hit up all the participating yarn stores. Um, and got a lot of goodies and made a lot of plans together. Um, so I'm going to show you, um, I took a few clips in some of the um, shops. Some of them I got a little bit too distracted, um, but I'll insert some B-roll and like my yarn crawl outfits for the day. And then I will um, let you know what I got. Let's get started. <laughs> was Yarn Matters in Williamsburg, Virginia. There we go. There we got our passports and we met up with, not met up, but we saw a few other yarn crawlers and it was really sweet and fun. Um, I've been to Yarn Matters before once and I kind of went crazy on the sock yarn. Um, this time I was a little more focused. Um, I knew I wanted to get mini skeins from every shop that we went to. So this is the mini skein that I got. A really nice bright green. Um, and actually it kind of pairs well with the um, large skein that I got. I'm thinking for this skein of yarn. This is by Apple Fiber Studio. Um, the colorway is PYC April 2024. So I guess this is their colorway for this month. Um, it's a really sweet pink. It's like a pastel rainbow and I really love it. I'm thinking of pairing this with a um, mohair and making a slip over. I think that would be really, really cute. And because I met the $25, um, what is it, threshold for a purchase, I also got a really cute stitch marker. Um, every shop had these cherry blot, no, not cherry blossom, dogwood stitch markers with the um, initials, I guess, on them. This one's backwards. No, I'm showing it to you backwards. There we go. So it's Yarn Matters. And it's really cute green. It kind of matches my single skein. Um, and they also kind of look good together, right? Like you could do a sock with this. But I really, um, I'm gonna look for a mohair to pair with this skein to make a little slip over. Um, the slip over I was thinking of, it's not the Friday slip over, I think it's called the summer slip over. And I'll insert a picture as well. Um, that one was kind of in my head the whole time that we were doing the yarn crawl and thinking of single skeins that I could make with it. So, excuse me. Um, that is a contender for uh, making with my single skein from Yarn Matters. After Yarn Matters, we went and had lunch with my mom, which was really nice. And then we headed to Baba Sheep in Norfolk. Um, there I took forever to figure out um, what yarn that I wanted. Um, I had a plan to look for um, some yarn for Augustine's uh, number one. It's like, um, I'll, I'll insert a picture obviously, but I knew I wanted like a kind of taupey brown. This one is much more brown than um, taupe, but it's nice and neutral. 
Um, it doesn't lean warm or cool or anything like that. Um, so I got three skeins. This is Cascade Yarns Heritage. It's a 75 Merino, 25 Nylon, and this colorway is 5638. No special name, just um, the numbers. But I think it's really gorgeous. And the yarn is super soft, so I can wear it next to skin. This is actually softer than some of the other um, 7525 blends that I've used before. So that's really nice and um, reassuring that this will be something that I can wear without layering a whole bunch of um, protective measures. I don't know different measures on my skin. Um, this was my sweater quantity. And then I also, I didn't find a mini skein there that I really liked, but I did see this Pima Soft from Barocco. Um, this is the color 4638. It's just like a chartreuse, obviously. And actually I was thinking of making the Thea top with it, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention Thea top. This is a size medium. I think I'm going to size down to a size small and make it with this beautiful green. Obviously, green is my color and I love it so much. So that is what I got from Baba Sheep. I forgot to show you all my Baba Sheep stitch marker. This one's a nice bright orange. Um, and then the next shop we went to is the Yarn Club in Virginia Beach. Um, they have a little mascot. His name is Hank. He's a doodle and he's so cute. I have some footage and pictures of us hanging out with Hank. Um, here is my stitch marker. Can you see it? It's clear. So it might be difficult to see. Um, and I took a long time there as well because their, their selection is amazing. Um, let's see, this is my, um, mini skein that I got. It is by Sheep Graffiti and this is the colorway Grass Is Always. It's a really nice bluey green. Um, I'll show you all my minis at the end and see, um, you all can see the kind of vibe that I was going for. I want to make a gradient um, pair of socks from Summer Lee's, um, excuse me, uh, shorty socks. Anyways, this is my mini skein. And then I also purchased... Blue Sky Fibers Organic Cotton Sport. Um, the color is Jasper. And with this yarn, I am planning on making another ranunculus. Actually, my best friend and I, who went on the yarn crawl with me, um, we're both about to finish uh, sleeves on our latest projects. So I was like, hey, why don't we just do a ranunculus knit along together? And so I am going to cake this up um, probably today and we're going to start on that together. And I'm really excited. Um, it's really nice to have someone to knit with. So uh, this cotton yarn is just so gorgeous. Like I was staring at um, Blue Sky Fibers. I don't know why I've never heard of them, but they were all over um, the shops that we were at and they're just gorgeous. I love them. I'm very excited to do a little knit along together. Um, that was the end of our Friday. And then the next day we went to um, the two shops that are closer to me. So I'm gonna get those together and then show you all. Day, we started at Center of the Yarniverse, which is such a cute name. 
Um, let me see if I can find my uh, stitch marker. I cannot. I think it's in the bag and I'm not going to crinkle it up while you all are here with me. Um, but this is the mini skein I got. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is from FXBG Fibers. This is the colorway patina, I believe. It's a 8020 merino nylon. And this was a um, trunk show that they were doing. And the dyer was actually there. She was chatting with other patrons, but her yarn was absolutely gorgeous. My best friend got some of her yarn as well. Um, so that was my mini skein. And then I got some more cotton yarn. I'm in a copper mood. Um, this is by Amano right here. Amano? Not sure. But um, this is the yarn base Sammy, Sami, and the color is 1806. It's just a nice copper color. Um, I got a lot more than I thought I did. I was going to make a Thea top with this, but maybe I'll just make a, like a t-shirt with this. I think that would be really nice. Um, the yarn is super soft and this is a, let me see what they classify this as. Um, I would say this is like a sport weight, maybe a DK. Actually, I think this was in the DK section. So DK coppery colored cotton yarn, super nice. Um, I don't know where my, let me look for my stitch marker. Okay, so I met the threshold actually to get a darning needle as well. So my stitch marker is connected to my darning needle. Let's see if I can get this to lay right. There we go. Center of the Yarniverse. It's a nice purpley. It, it's got like a metallic backing to it. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. And I'll probably use these as beginning of round markers on the different yarns that I have and, and what I'll be making with them. Um, there was also a really cute dog there as well. Um, their name was Bailey. And I think I did not get any footage of the shop because I was petting Bailey instead. So go figure. The last shop we went to was my home base, Dances with Wool. And I got a really cute blue, is this the right way? I hope, no, nope. there we go. Blue dogwood um, stitch marker. And they were having quite a few trunk shows. I can't remember exactly which ones. Um, there was Little Fox, there was um, Ritual Dyes, and there was another one, but I cannot remember who it was. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but there, uh, the first things I picked up were two mini skeins, actually. These are Emma's yarn. Um, this one is uh, the colorway 10. It's a really pretty greenish blue, obviously, like all the other ones that I have. And this one is the colorway four. So maybe they have um, like a one to 10 or something kind of colorway. Maybe I can find um, the meaning behind these mini skeins. But I wanted to show you all, all the mini skeins all together. Here they are. Aren't they so cute? So I'm thinking I'm, I'll make a gradient um, sock with these. I'm not really sure about my neon green, but I think they all go together really well, even without the neon green. 
and I have some white that I can supplement as well. So these are all my mini skeins. And then from Little Fox Fiber or um, hand-dyed yarn, I got Hidden Harbor in their Volpine base. The sun is really blowing it out, but um, this yarn, it's a little more, uh, it's a little more greenish blue in real life, but um, I'm also planning on making a slip over with this one. It is 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. It's a DK weight. So I won't have to hold it with any merino or mohair or anything like that. Um, and I was, it took me forever to find or decide on this yarn because um, there's so much beautiful yarn and I did not want to kind of keep repeating the colors that I had purchased previously. And so I was talking with my friend and I was like, you know, I'm making a lot of coppery dresses, skirts, plaid, things like that um, for my summer wardrobe. What if I find something that would go well with those fabrics? And this is what I decided on. See, it's got like little coppery bits. Um, the blue is just really beautiful and it doesn't wash me out at all so that's a plus um and i just really love the squish factor of this yarn and the fact that this is actually dyed locally to me so it's really nice to support local dyed yarn um anyways this was my last purchase i really love the experience of the yarn crawl everybody was so super sweet and it was like just really nice to feel like part of the community for sure and um it makes me really excited to go to the maryland sheep and wool festival in may and hopefully i can get a whole bunch of stuff knitted up real quick the ranunculus is going to take no time at all and I've started um, one of my other spring summer knits as well. So I have a lot of things going on for you all. I'm thinking of doing um, a sewing video next week, maybe switching on and off every two weeks. There'll be um, a knitting video and then the other two weeks in between, there'll be like other crafts. I'm also trying to um, redo my studio a little bit. It's quite dark up there, as you all know. Um, so I'm hoping to start painting pretty soon and just getting it all wrapped up and good to go for working up there. Um, I have a lot of sewing. Um, projects done now so I will also be able to show you all those as well um I hope you all are having a good day a good week a good month and a good year and I hope all your crafts are crafting and I will see you very soon